Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 18 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, this is how my deck looks now. And to think, I almost forgot to put in Harpy's Feather Duster and Barrel Dragon and Jinzo and the like back in my deck. Because back then, I was dueling without those cards to make sure I could still duel the Tier 3 opponents. But if you beat them at least uh, 10 times, I believe... You do get to put them in your deck, and you can still duel those four guys. Which is actually pretty good. So this is how my deck looks now. It looks a bit better. I swapped out White Magical Hat for Don Zalug, which had the same ability, but he has this extra one as well. If you chose not to send one card from the opponent's hand to the graveyard, and you actually get to select that card, of course, you instead can choose to send two cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard if you do battle damage to life points. Ekabio or Ekabio Drachmord is a very nice ability as well. If you equip it to a monster, that monster cannot attack, and the monster gets destroyed at the end of the second turn of the player controlling the monster. And this card returns to your hand, so you can use it again. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah, I had a ton of duels to make sure that I got these good cards. Now it's time to take on the ghouls again, and hopefully I get one off on Arcana to make up for the last time. Alright, let's do this. This time I'm gonna win. At least, that's the game plan. <laughs> uh, fairy box? Good idea. And I think I'll set things up with a man or bug face down. And I'll end my turn. A corroding shark, that's not really a threat. Alright, I'm gonna have you attack, that's good. Now I activate Fairy Box. It's heads. Damn! Well, at least I still get to destroy the monster. I would have liked to do damage to life points, though. And save Man or Bug for later. But hey, can't always get what you want. Yes, I will pay, because Fairy Box could serve me well later on. That gives me an idea. Nah, I don't think it'd be worth it with, like, this. I was thinking about putting him in defense mode and let the, uh, Fairy Box do all the work, but I don't think that'd be a good idea. So we play Call of the Haunted to bring back Corroding Shark. Bit of a waste if you ask me. Mirror Force, not so much. Okay, I'm going to play Monster Reborn to bring back my Mechanical Chaser. Seems a bit early, but I practically have to. I'll end my turn. So far throughout this Let's Play, I'm 0 for 2 with Fairy Box. That's a problem. Like, I need to get better luck. Alright, I'll pay again. That's no problem. I do have my Magician of Faith in case I need it. Luckily, I will not at this time. So I'm going to use Gemini Elf to attack directly. Alright, that went well. For now, at least. You remove. Oh, he has nothing. He must have a lot of high-powered monsters in his hand and can't play them. That's gonna come back to bite him. Now I'll bring in Master Kionchi to the field. And I'll attack directly with both monsters. I'm hoping this will be the video where I maintain a very good streak against the ghouls. I'm at least gonna try to, at the very least. So what I'm going to do is probably just like a cut off the video in between duels, just in case things go horribly wrong, which they often can. That way I make sure that I have greater chances of ending the streaks. I mean, keeping my streak up. Yeah, I think we'll go that way. Then I'll play Change of Heart. To take care of Cannon Soldier. And now I attack directly with all monsters. And there we go, I should be able to win this time. 
finally just to get one off on Arcana. And let's see what I am going to pick next. I'm going to go with Guardian Sphinx. Okay, well, I already got a guy the Fierce Knight. I think they have all these cards, actually. Book of Moon, what does that do again? Flip one face on monster and a face down defense. Well, that could come in handy for, like, say, a flip effect monster. Okay, time for the next duel. Alright, duel number two against the ghouls, and it's gonna be Odeon! He uses the Trap Wave deck. Good thing I got Jinzo, that's gonna save my ass. In a very big way. Because the thing about Odeon, he doesn't like to use a lot of monsters, but he does love to use traps against you. Okay, I'm gonna summon Opticlops in attack mode. And then I'm gonna place one card face down. Your move. Good thing I have Harpy's Feather Duster as well. Look at that, an entire load of trap cards right there. Thankfully, I have Harpy's Feather Duster to destroy them instantly. Unless he's got a magic jam or anything that can negate it. Which I wouldn't be remiss if he has. Okay, I gotta see what those are. Magic Cylinder, Enchanted Javelin, Enchanted Javelin, Mirror Force. Okay, that could be very devastating if they all worked. Good thing I didn't give him the chance. Okay, so if things go according to plan, this is going to be a fast duel. Let's hope it stays that way, because I'd hate to lose to him after all this momentum. And I got Imperial Order in case he wants to use some spells against me. Well, we'll see. Right now, I'm going to end my turn. That's leaving him with very little now, thanks to what I used. I don't feel like playing Delinquent Duo. He only got one card. Let's see. Do I have enough damage? 3,700? No, I don't. But at the same time... What can go wrong if I just use Bregeki right now? Besides, he could have a very good flip effect over there. Man, you're a bug. Well, it was well worth it. Because I could attack with one, and then he would destroy the other. Meaning I would do no damage. So I think that was a good idea, doing what I just did. Unfortunately, we gotta wait another turn. If he comes back and beats me after all this, I swear, I am going to piss myself. And no, I will not film it, because I'm pretty sure I'll be taken down. You know how YouTube is these days. I mean, you're not allowed to show breasts, and you're not allowed to show people urinating on each other. What a world. Or urinating on themselves, rather, be the better term. Okay, I'm gonna play Nobleman of Extermination to destroy that. That was a Torrential Tribute. Huh. Well, that takes care of his other two. Uh, let's see, can this work on face-out monsters? Um, I don't think so. Usually equipped cards only work on face-up ones and not face-down. So I guess all I'm gonna have to attack. Let's hope it doesn't bite me in the ass. Ooh, I think it did. It's a morphing jar. But at least I still get to attack. So I guess it really didn't bite me in the ass after all. And here I was worrying for no reason. Alright, so that's two wins in a row against ghouls. Let's go with Dark Ruler deck this time. Okay, Troop Dragon? This one's new. When this card is sent to the graveyard, and when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you may select one Troop Day Dragon from your deck and special summon it to the field. That's actually a pretty good card if you have like two or three of them in your deck. Because then you're allowed to have something to defend you. But unfortunately, I only have one. Alright, on to the next duel. 
Okay, who is it gonna be for round three? Ah, Strings. Apparently he has high defense. Well, his personality is not that defended, if you ask me, but... Anyways, let's just go with Pot of Greed right now. Okay, well actually these cards are pretty good. Let me put Magic Jammer face down. And let's see, who should I put face down defense mode? Um, let's think about this for a moment here. I don't know if I want to waste it on trap hole, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to summon Dunamis Dark Witch in attack mode. And then I'll put this trap hole face down, and then call it a turn. If you use a spell to destroy it, I'll use Magic Jammer. Ooh, Vorse Raider. Swing in heavy, I can see. I like that. Your Vorse Raider's to the graveyard. I like that even more. Ooh, Kaisu the Ghost Destroyer. Ah, uh, but here's the thing. I mean, there's a lot of traps over there. I want to save my Kaisu for later. Because I don't want it to get destroyed on me. Because if I use Kaisu, I can actually take care of some of his monsters in the graveyard and remove them from play. Therefore, making my life a little bit easier. So let me summon Mechanical Chaser to the field. Okay, that wasn't a trap hole. Torrential Tribute, so I'll end my turn. Ah, Spear Dragon. So we played two 1900 attack point monsters in a row. And they're saying he has high defense? I don't buy it. But in any case, I mean, we gotta deal with it. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need to bring back my trap hole, so why don't I sl put Mask of Darkness face down? Mechanical Chaser, you would take down that Spear Dragon. Oh, shit. Ooh, that Spear Dragon attacks again. That's gonna do a nice bit of damage to me. Because remember, I can penetrate my, my life points even in defense mode. Wind Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress number two. Don't worry, I know the difference between one and two. Okay, so now I should bring back my trap hole. That's good. Hopefully not too little too late. It's not looking good for me here, but at least he has no more traps. Okay, seven color fish could be very valuable, but I'm gonna bring in Kaisu the Ghost Destroyer. Should I? I think I should save it for later still. Because as much as I would like to attack it, like attack the winged dragon and then send some monsters away from the graveyard, that Spirit Dragon is going to attack again. So here's what I'm thinking. Seven Color Fish is going to have to come in and take care of this. Alright, I want that Spear Dragon destroyed. I'm not going to worry about doing life point damage right away. i got to focus on the priorities here. Alright, your move, Strings. Ooh, Summon Skull, but this is why I had my Mask of Darkness face down. Now would be a good time to bring in Kaisu the Ghost Destroyer. Because I don't want him bringing that Summon Skull back. Of course, it'll keep me from bringing it back as well with Monster Reborn, but I'm willing to make that sacrifice. There we go. I would like to get some get Don Zalug in my hand as well. That'd be very good. Okay, so who should I select? Well, first it's gonna be Summon Skull, and then probably either Spear Dragon or Vorse Raider. I think I'm gonna go Spear Dragon. There, now he can't bring them back from his graveyard because they're no longer in his graveyard. All right, now I'm gonna put this face down. Let's see what you got left, Strings. Ooh, Slate Warrior. That's actually a very good monster. OK, 
Okay, I'd hate to lose my, uh, Kaisu. But I might have to, if I want to bring in my Cybertech Alligator. So at the same time, now I don't want to use Cyber Jar yet. Remember, that's something I would use in an emergency. It'll cause my Cybertech Alligator to lose 500 attack points. But at 2,000, it's still very good. It'll keep up with some of his high attacking monsters in his deck. For some reason, I think Strings' deck is a major misnomer. So, I mean, every single monster he has played on me so far has high attack points, but very low defense points. Which I do not understand at all. It makes no sense to me. Okay, Master Kionchi can go. Remember, I still like to keep my Cyber Jar. There, he still had to pay the 800 life points. Man, your bug. Oh, that's very valuable. Okay, I wonder if this is gonna be like a high defense monster like Humanoid Slime. Nope, it's a Spear Dragon that he never really got to exploit. Good. Alright, now this duel is actually pretty close. I like that. He's just holding out now. But I got my Maneater Bug on the ready. And I can summon another monster. This should be able to do it. That was just a normal monster. Eh, don't really care what it is. It's just in the graveyard. That's all that matters to me. Okay, so that should be win number three against Ghouls. I'm proud of that. Looks like we're going to be tearing ass. And I win! Again! Yeah! Alright. Uh, Zombira this time. Uh, none of these are that spectacular. Okay, next duel. Alright, now for duel number four, and it's going to be one of two choices. It's either going to be Rare Hunter, or it's going to be Loomis and Umbra. Oh, guess we know who it is now. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this, Loomis and Umbra. Mass Sorcerer. Okay, what is that effect again? I gotta see this. When you inflict damage to your opponent's life points, oh, you get to draw one card. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Do I want to play Nobleman of Extermination right now? I think I will. It's going to come back to bite me in the ass, depending on what it is. Oh, Magic Cylinder, so it won't. Alright then, then I'll just go for the attack. Oh, if I didn't have to worry about damage, I would have liked to bring back that Mass Sorcerer myself. But we'll see. It all depends on what happens next turn and what monsters are going to be there. So let me put this face down and end my turn. Come on, Legend, you're going to be my go-to guy for a while. Well, for at least one turn. Antiki Elder. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to bring back with Monster Reborn. Definitely my Legin. My Legin and Tonic Euro. Okay, I think it's going to be a good idea to use Monster Reborn. Bring back Legin, well, it didn't matter who, because I plan to sacrifice it for Cybertech Alligator. I think that's going to be the best course of action in this duel so far. In its early infancy, of course. Now let's see how you handle this, Loomis and Umbra. Watch now Dark Hole or Regeki or Change of Heart right away. Then I'll feel a little screwed. Let's see what you got. 
Huh, just a face down card. That face down card could be devastating. It all depends on what it is. Okay, let me put this face down. Because I might be able to destroy some spell cards that way. Oh, Mask of Darkness, that's gonna bring back a trap. I mean, there's only traps in the graveyard! I mean, removed from play, that's right. So no worries. And that was Magic Cylinder. Huh, that's all? Okay. Ooh, Pot of Greed. Definitely playing that. Mask of Darkness? I could play that, but not yet. Your opponent draws three cards, both players check the cards, and any spell cards among them must be immediately discarded to the graveyard. So he gets to draw three cards, but I can destroy spell cards this way. Summon Skull, crap. Mirror Force, crap. Rantiki Elder, so no monsters or no spell cards got destroyed. Ooh, this could be a problem. I think I might have shot myself in the foot in a very bad way. Alright, but I mean, I've already committed, so I mean, that's just it. Gradius? <laughs> Sorry, Vic Viper, it's just not your day. At this rate, it may not even be mine. So far, I mean, I'm not gonna have to worry. T I wanted to go to main phase two. I wasn't gonna play anything. Yep, Mirror Force is definitely down. I just saw it lay down. Okay, now would be a good time to go with Harpy's Feather Duster. Good. There was no Magic Jammer there. Play this face down as well. Yeah, I don't want to rush things too much. But I should be able to get the win if Neo can take care of this monster. And indeed he does. That's right, it was the Grand Tiki Elder. Okay, so that's going to be win number four, and all that's left is Rare Hunter. Alright. Yeah! Success! Again! And let's go with Dark Ruler again. Spear Dragon, nice! Might be a good thing to put in my deck. You know what, I'm gonna do that. Okay, who's gonna be the weak link in my deck here? Let's think about this for a moment. I mean, I got some pretty good cards all the same already. I think Neo the Magic Swordsman is my uh, weakest link. So I'm gonna put in Spear Dragon right now. I got some pretty good cards. I mean, sometimes it's hard to decide what ones you want to use. Slave Warrior is also good in its own right, but I'm going to hold off on it. Okay, now for the fifth duel. Okay, fifth and final duel against duels and obviously... Uh, against ghouls, not duels. And by process of elimination, we all know who it is. Good old Seeker, who's an absolute dick. Ooh, Don Zalu, get that right away. That's very good. Okay, let me put this face down. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to put a... Uh, can I see the Ghost Destroyer face up? Face down would be like an absolute risk. Having Don Zalu will definitely disrupt his Exodia strategies. Oh, Dark Hole, well that's gone. To the Black Forest. Ugh. All right, my move. Let's see. How am I gonna plan this here? I think I definitely want to use Heavy Storm. Even though I destroyed my trap card, it was well worth it. Now I'm going to use Monster Reborn to bring back my Kaisu the Ghost Destroyer. Go on the attack. And then I'm going to summon Don Zalug to the field. There we go. 
Now things should definitely be looking up. Here's what I'm thinking. Donzalug, attack Witch of the Black Forest. Okay, now I get a choice of what effect I want to activate. Do I want to select one card from his hand at random and send it to the graveyard? Or send two cards on the top of the opponent's deck to the graveyard? Or not effect activate an effect at all? We're definitely going to go with effect number one. Okay, right leg of the Forbidden One, no surprise there. Now I gotta think about what monster was sent to the graveyard then. It was definitely an effect monster. Sangan, good, I got rid of that. Yeah, I'll definitely remove Witch of the Black Forest as well. That way you can't bring them back. Okay, good strategy so far. This might be my one-two punch. I still have a card in my hand in case I he plays a spell card. Ooh, that's a trap. I might consider activating the uh, Nobleman of Extermination then. Yep, I'm gonna do that right now. What was it? Torrential Tribute. Okay, good. Got rid of that as well. It's too bad I don't really have like another monster to bring out. That would have made things very convenient. Okay, I think I'm gonna take one card from his hand again. Seeing as how he did draw an Exodia monster. There we go. As long as I keep this up, he won't be able to do anything about it. Alright, I'll end my turn. Is this working out for me? Nothing? Okay. Then I'll probably consider effect number two then. Actually, I don't think it's gonna matter, will it? Nope. I'll get the win. Beautiful. Eh, let's go with effect number two. Why not? Spell on a trap. Okay. And there we go! Nothing to it! Good thing I did put in Don Zalug instead of White Magical Hat, it just gives me more options. And options mean success. Depending on what those options are, of course. And I wouldn't choose out of any of these five. Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, we'll see what happens when you defeat five ghouls in a row. See ya.